You're listening to the Monday Night Community Show with Daniel on BRFM. So we're now joined with Dan Pike from Restoration Youth. Uh, Dan, firstly, thank you very much for speaking to us. You're you're welcome, Dan. Um, how are you doing? You all right? Yeah, good, good. Fantastic. I was wondering perhaps if we could start off by you telling us what is Restoration Youth uh, all about? Okay, yeah. So I'm Dan Pike. I'm the founder and the manager of Restoration Youth. Um and what really it's all about is it's restoration youth literally transforms the negative mindset of young people by giving them ownership of their own lives that's in a nutshell that's what we are really all about um places like the isle of sheppey often suffer from a negative reputation um if you're from the island or you're around kent you'll know that the island has a bit of a a poor rep and that affects the young people's and many other people's expectations of themselves and their future um, it's like a, a self-fulfilling cycle if you like self-fulfilling prophecy if young people think they're rubbish um, they act rubbish and we see that on the street we see that in the schools we see that in their employment aspirations and really restoration youth really is a project which literally like i say transforms that mindset so what have you uh, been doing so far so um i mean i know i look probably 24 then but i'm actually 32 right i'm a l- little bit older than what i look and um, a little bit older than i actually act as well and I, for about uh, t- i've been a youth worker for about 10 years and i'm just going to briefly take you through a bit of a journey of how I, i've got to this stage so get comfortable make sure you're a cup of tea because this may take a few minutes um i was i used to volunteer um for my church i I go to a church community church sheppy big shout out to you lot hi paul and ann norris great people they are the people that lead that church they might have been on this show before i think i have probably them possibly probably maybe marie piper she's probably been on this station before what's their building to do with homes under the hammer one yeah 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 yeah, 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 yeah. just on the homes under the hammer and uh, i started volunteering there uh, at church kind of helping out with the youth group and helping out with a group they called encouragers at the time worked with nine to twelve year olds and then someone uh, from the church um, said to me um, do you know that you can get paid for this sort of thing and that was quite interesting I didn't realize that and I sort of started to look at a different direction to my life because I was looking at jobs of IT and all that kind of stuff and um, which wasn't working no one wanted to employ me working with computers Um, And the people that know me will know why no one wanted to employ me to work with computers. Um, And um, and uh, yeah, I started looking into it and I realised the council done this um, done done introduction to youth work course, which I'd done. And then I got a part time job as a youth worker at Kensley Youth House. And I started working at Newhouse Youth Club and Sports Centre. And and then these traineeships come available where they paid you to go on um, a degree, well, a, a a kind of degree course and to do you three years work experience. Uh, and then they offered you a full time job at the end of it. They only accepted about three people per year. So it's quite hard to get onto that. And uh, I tried one year and I got an interview. I went to Maidstone, done this interview, and then I wasn't successful, really gutted. After the interview, I've been really gutted and talking to my girlfriend at the time, who was now my wife, Becky Pike, and um, being quite gutted about that. And then I tried the year after, and I didn't even get an interview, really gutted. And then the last year, uh, and, and as, a, as a Christian that, is, that goes to that goes to community church, Sheppey, and I kind of prayed lots during that year, and I come to a stage when I was a lot more... I kind of at peace if you like in terms of where my life would end up and and I got an interview that year the third year and then offered me a place which was amazing and then I started this sort of three-year journey um, going to University of Greenwich and I done youth work in info zone in Maidstone and then a year at Shenness County Youth Club and then my final year at Canterbury Detached. And during that whole year, during all this time, I knew I wanted to run this project called Sheppey Detached, which was doing street-based youth work on, on Sheppey. It was always a big aspiration of mine to do youth work on, on Sheppey. And at the end of the three years, um, my manager in Canterbury, she moved on. And um, I, so someone sort of suggested to the manager that was running Sheppey Detached, Sheppy detached at the time if they wanted to move to Canterbury and he was a bit hesitant um, and then after 
a few months he decided to do that so the a post become available at Chevy Detached right. and um, I applied for it I was the only person that got an interview and, and I got it at the end of my three year training so I'd done that for probably about four years and uh, what I really wanted to do was my final goal was to run my own project and um, KCC started to commission a lot of their services so instead of pay uh, instead of run it themselves they wanted local people to run it right. and I got um I'd done this big application um, to to run. I got come up with this idea for for Restoration Youth, and um, I applied for it. And was successful to um, to run the things that the way I wanted to run, um, and uh, and they I was successful in this bid, and have now started in January two thousand and thirteen to run Restoration Youth. So let's so that's a big that was a big sort of long story. I yeah. uh, hope everyone stood awake and with us. And it really is a it's a good blessing. And I'll just say, you know, if you've got a goal, if you've got a dream, you, you, it takes time, but believe in it. And um, if if um, if you really want to do it, you you'll make it work. And uh, for me, you know, my my faith in in God has opened a lot of doors, and it's been a blessing. And um, things things can happen. Can you believe it? So we are talking uh, all about Restoration Youth. We're talking to Dan Pike right here at the Monday Night Community Show. We are joined at the moment with Dan Pike and we're talking all about Restoration Youth here on the uh, Isle of Sheppey. Uh, Dan, why do you do it? Very good point. <laughs> well, um, I do it. Why, why do we do it? There's so many different ways I, I could answer that. Um, I think... I suppose to to begin with, to 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 start off with, my again going back to 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 my to my faith and to my relationship with God, that really is a big inspiration. Is that injustice? I I, I don't like injustice because God God doesn't like injustice, and um, and if it's not right, someone once said, if it's not right in heaven, it's not right on earth, and um, so that's that's a big inspiration to me. And um, what I found a particular injustice that I feel quite passionate about is, like I say, is this negative reputation. And I'm, I'm quite passionate, really, uh, about um, about this, like I say, this negative reputation that Sheppy carries and how it affects young people. And it comes to a point where I decided, actually, what, I, what, you know, what do I really enjoy in life? And what do I, um, what what community need do I want to meet? And I discovered that I really like to see young people when they own stuff, when they, when they have ownership of activities and events, rather than patronising them and doing it for them. What I love to see is to to delegate um, th- these kind of opportunities to them, and I, I love it, love to see what happens to young people. This empowerment process, what happens to young people when they, when they own activities and projects and events, and also, like I say. Um, I, I want to tackle this uh, this this issue of identity, um, and I come to a point where I'm sick and tired of seeing it happen, of, of people putting down Sheppy and all the time wherever I go. So I want to be part of the answer. I want to put Sheppy on the map. I, I want people to speak of Sheppy as a great place to be, where actually there's lots going on. Um, that's my vision, I suppose, of the future. When people speak of Sheppy, they don't put it down, but they say this is the place to be. This is a place which is full of activity, where young people stand up and they do something about their lives. They do something about the community around them. There's lots of activities and events and project, projects happen in Sheppy because young people are doing something about it. They're being part of the answer. And hey, let's get involved in what's going on in Sheppy. That actually, in 5, 10, 15 years' time, that this that the, 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 the reputation is completely transformed that people speak highly of Sheppey and it's like a, a shining beacon uh, in Kent really it's, it's something that people would inspire to be like so that's what restoration youth is <laughs> all about in a way yeah exactly that's that and that's why I, I do it as well yeah so what does restoration youth uh, actually do then so yeah i mean i've talked a little about the theory and about the the passion behind it but in terms of what we actually offer we have two main um offers to 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 young people at the moment one of these alternative vocational enterprise programs avaps uh, as i call them so uh, young people maybe it be it could be young people that are, are struggling with mainstream education on the edge of exclusion or, or a variety of other young people as well maybe young people suffering confidence or it could be could be any young person really that needs some sort of alternative um way of learning 
um, we will offer them uh, these these five different programs to to learn with us that are actually business ideas as well where young people can actually run parts of our business for us because restoration youth it is a business it's an actual company um that actually we will make money and feed that back into the business as well so one of our first programs is a music album we're working with um, roadhouse recording studio in new road and young people can actually learn to produce an, an album or or and they can actually perform on that album as well um, so that's one of the programs they'll learn sound engineering skills and could be dj skills or mc skills or other various variety of other musical instrument skills to actually perform on their album and we're really excited about producing a music album full of young people produced by young people and then the second program is music events as well so young people can actually organize um, music events and where that album would be sold at and where young people that perform on that album would perform at uh, as well um, we organized one actually with the Shenis County Youth Club earlier in the year it was really successful over 100 young people were there and we saw some amazing talent from young people and we sold tickets it was really great and we want to do that again and make that a regular thing but it's organized by young people with young people at young people selling stuff there and that's one of the programs the third thing is merchandise young people actually um organizing different parts of the uh, you know t-shirts and hats and um the, the artwork for the album all that kind of stuff again that will be linked in with the music events as well um, the fourth thing is, is video production. Um, so we've got Justin Agate from the Healthy Living Centre. Yep. He's supporting us in helping young people to produce a variety of different videos, whether that be promotion videos um, for their school or college or for Restoration Youth or music videos or a variety of other different needs that they might come across. And again, with these videos, we want to treat them as a business. So that would be a part of the business that they can actually run and turn that into a small little three month project which actually makes money. And the fifth thing is that we're developing a coffee bar stroke milkshake bar um, that was probably going to be based in, in Rushenden in one of the vacant shops there that young people will manage and, and run. So that's the five different projects that young people, business ideas that young people can get involved with and they can get accreditation out of doing that as well and they can prove their their attitude to learning at school and their future aspirations as well the other kind of project that we got links in with all that is this idea called vision shop so if young people have an activity on an event or a project that they want to they want to happen we can actually help those young people organize that themselves and actually we can support them actually making these ideas business worthy as well so you know a young person wants to do a football tournament or wants to do a, a, a particular event or a trip and we actually discuss with that young person how that can actually make money uh, as well to teach them about business skills and we've got various people that we can work with such as the island partnership to to make that to make that happen so that's the kind of things that we actually do we are at the moment talking to dan pike and uh, we're talking all about restoration youth here at brfm so we are at the moment talking to Dan Pike here at the Monday Night Community Show and we're talking all about Restoration Youth. We were covering some of the stuff you do, but I know you wanted to cover a little bit more. Yes, so just to refer back to our programmes that we're offering um, colleges or pre-units or um, you know, young offenders, schools, etc., academies... Um, these these business programs uh, there's five different programs with music production video production events organizing merchandise coffee bar stroke milkshake bar all kind of business ideas to re-inspire young people each program actually is about also improving the young people's reputation as well so for example with the music album when it's sold really the idea is actually improving to celebrate the actual achievement because it's amazing the young people that we've seen that may not have much different kind of academic achievement but when we see them behind a mic and you know their ability musically is, is incredible and we want to celebrate that achievement and as well you know we may also have young people that, 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 that achieve academically but also they have this other great ability with with business or with videoing or running a coffee bar we want to celebrate that and prove the whole island's reputation what we see is there's a process of empowerment and improving that will improve their expectations so that's the whole big thing as well that we want to focus on 
So what's happening about the refurbishment of the former Trinity Road council offices then, Dan? Yes, this is our other exciting little uh, project that we've got going on. It's taken about a year to get. So far, we've got a kind of informal agreement with Swarborough Council to give us the Trinity Road offices. We're just waiting for the paperwork to be completed, etc. And they've given us, amazingly, uh, a peppercorn rent of, of that building for a year. And hopefully that will turn into at least three years. And beyond that, it depends upon the, the further development of, of that site. And, um, yeah, we're, we're going to be offering out as really kind of training opp- opportunities. And also we've, we've talked to various other people in the community about using some of the offices um, for for young people to use for their business ideas, to develop their ideas into so actually offices for young people as, as well. So that's quite an exciting uh, opportunity. Um, Gordon Henderson has had that idea for a long time, I know. So it's something that we, we want to look into and arrange some meetings with the academy about. Um, and it's, it's amazing the support that we've got in terms of refurbishment. There's, there's quite big, these buckets and buckets of paint. <laughs> yep. And we've had uh, Craig Inns and his team from, from the academy down to have a look around. And uh, we're really grateful that they want to support us in actually getting young people down to help with the refurb of it, painting and decorating. And um, there's, like I said, lots of work to be done and plastering and all sorts. So they're going to probably come down, hopefully for, for three weeks or so, and be part of their curriculum to, to help with some of the rooms. Um, also, the Noise Project um, with Amanda Pink and Co. Have you heard of the Noise Project? I think I've, I don't think I've met those people no. involved in it. Uh, they're, they're a Christian group uh, full of young people from across the island that get involved in, in, in supporting the community uh, in a variety of different ways. I don't know all the details, so I'll, I'll let... Amanda and co talk, talk about that but they're going to support us um, through through half term lots of the young people are going to come down and help with redecoration and also next week I've got to do a presentation to, to CXK the former connection service to a Princess Trust group um, led by um, Lizzie Martin and um, we're going to see if their young people want to help us a, as well they have to choose a project in terms of um, what they want a, a community project and I'll be one of many that there's a presentation to them and I'm hoping that they might want to help us as well so we're going to have a few weeks of refurbing the building uh, building doing lots of painting and there may be other people in the community that, that want to get involved in that as well and feel free to talk to me and have a chat and we're going to be applying to various companies for buckets of paint buckets of white paint <laughs> particularly we don't really want the old battleship grey we prefer that the white paint we want it to look fairly modern so it's quite an attractive place for, for people to come into and also we have some of that space available for rent for community projects to come and rent to help pay for the bills because it's going to cost quite a lot to to run it as well as you can imagine so if our listeners would like to find out uh, more do you have any contact details for them yes so um feel free to to contact me on on my mobile number actually uh, which is 078 530 42677 that's 078 530 Four two six seven seven. We have a website which will be ready within the next few weeks, which is www.restorationyouth.co.uk. That's restorationyouth.co.uk. Email address: contact at restorationyouth.co.uk. On Facebook, um, restorationyouth.co.uk. We have a Facebook page there. Please come and like us on there. Maybe leave a comment. And also the old Twitter, of course, re- re- um, at restore tweet come and um come and follow us please and follow us on the journey because it's it's quite exciting also um if if young people if, if young people or adults are interested in volunteering or if there's organizations that would like to partner with us or if you'd like to donate to the project please please contact us um we um this is uh, we're quite confident we're excited about making a difference in the community it's going to begin on Sheppey and we we're also looking to expand you know maybe three years time to see how far we can really take this Dan it's been great to speak to you it's been good to have you here at BRFM thank you very much for telling our listeners all about what you do at Restoration Youth thank you Dan and thanks to BRFM